Hey guys, I'm Nancy. Welcome to Designer Savvy. Want to see what I have in the bag? Then you'll want to stay tuned. This is a mini shopping haul from Marshalls and today we are going to reorganize this cabinet which is my container cabinet. If this sounds interesting to you then you'll want to stay tuned. So Marshalls is one of my favorite stores. So let's take a look and I'll show you the storage containers that I have to use to reorganize my cabinet. I decided to go with yellow since it's a pretty bright sunny color. So I got this container. It looks like it is from BioKits and it was $5.99. Nice size storage container. And next, I was using glass and decided to go with plastic. So this is Inspired Living by Mesa and this is actually a 10 piece set. So five pieces with the lid, lids and this was $7.99. And got an eight piece set, Inspired Living by Mesa. This is not a sponsored video by the way, $5.99. And I've got a rectangle set here. It's a four piece set. Again, it's a container, two containers, two lids. And these are BPA free, so I like that. And let's see where the price is. $3.99. And last but not least, I have a lemon storage pod. Isn't that cute? And this was $2.99. Okay, I'm going to get these containers washed and then we'll get started. So that's a lot of clean containers in that sink. A rule of thumb and a tip that I can give you all is it is more visually appealing. This is from a designer standpoint. If you have your containers, your food storage containers, with one color lid, um, visually it's a unified look as opposed to having a hodgepodge of all different color containers with different colored lids. It's hard to find things when you have so many different colors. The lids get lost. You end up mismatching lids with containers. Um, it, it just looks nicer if you can stick with one, two, maybe, uh, or even three uh, containers with the same color lids. Wow, we have 12 storage containers. Guys, not only would these be great for the kitchen, which is what I'm going to use them for, but you could also use them in a craft room. They are see-through. Um, you could use them in a home office. You could use them in your garage. You could use them in a sewing room, or you could use them in a homeschool classroom. Lots of ideas for these storage containers. And I love the many different sizes that they are. Guys, I don't know if y'all noticed or not, but the great thing about these containers is that the entire container with the lid on it can fit inside of the other container. Love that. That way you're not having your lids one place and your containers another place. So great for storage, a great space saving idea. Love it. What a mess. Does your cabinet look like this?
So here's the empty cabinet. There is a lot of space in here and we're going to put this space to better use. So stay with me and I'll show you the rest of the process. I'm going to decide right now what I do want to keep and I'm going to keep that over here and then the things I don't want to keep, I'm going to push those aside and, and not worry with those, get rid of those so they're not taking up space that I need in my cabinet. So another tip for you, if you don't have the storage to store a cake container like this upright with the lid on it, you may want to consider turning it upside down and then you could use it as storage and place smaller bowls inside of it. Guys, how many of you have extra containers like this? Cool Whip containers. Um, I think this had barbecue from the grocery store in it. But I hang on to these because if I ever have guests over and I want to send a little good goodie bag home with them, then I don't have to worry about getting my good containers back so they can keep these and dispose of them or reuse them, repurpose them, uh, whatever they want to do. But I strongly encourage you to not keep these in your cabinet with the containers that you use on a day-to-day -day basis because your cabinet will end up looking like this one did again as that's what I did and that's why mine was a disaster. So keep them in a separate place. Maybe it's a big basket and you only allow yourself to you know, fill that basket up and once you do, you're done. Or you know, limit it to maybe six containers. I mean, really, how often do you have guests over that you send food home with them or you know, do you carry a snack or a treat somewhere to give somebody. So just keep those things in mind. If it is something that you do frequently, then by all means, store as many as you'd like. But again, I suggest that you store it elsewhere, not in your uh, valuable real estate where you use your uh, containers on a daily basis. So guys, I've separated what I don't want to keep with what I do want to keep. I've made sure that each container has a matching lid and I'm going to put everything back in the cabinet and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. So here's all the items that I no longer need. Well, what do you think? One last tip I have for you all today is make good use of your cabinet doors. I have put a cup hook on that cabinet door there and I use that to hang one of my cake pans. So I've put the felt protectors there so when we open and shut the cabinet door, it won't rattle and make a lot of noise since that is a metal cake pan. So make good use of your space. Go to your local hardware stores and take a look at the options that they have and customize your cabinetry to meet the needs of your family and uh, your containers that you use and have fun with it. So here's a close up of the finished cabinet. I am sticking with red, green, and yellow containers. And as you can see, I do have two pink balls and a blue funnel in the back. I'll show that to you. And then I do have a blue pitcher way in the back there. So, um, Okay, they've kind of been around a long time, so eventually I will replace those. I actually do have a white container that I'll replace the blue one with. Um, I'm not sure where that is at the moment. It's around here somewhere. So I'm going to stick with the red, the green, and the yellow. I have a lot of the red containers. I actually just bought these with the red lids. I love the size of them. They're not, not your typical size. They're long and rectangle shaped. So I'm going to stick with the three colors for now uh, and I eventually will replace the bowls that are not one of those three colors just because the pink bowls are actually wearing out. So I've got my cutting boards up there and then I have a large container if I wanted to put a casserole in it or something like that and I've got my cupcake container. I have my salad spinner. Guys, I love my salad spinner. It gets so much of the water out makes the job so much easier than just putting the veggies in a bowl and rinsing them. And then there are our popcorn bowls. They've been around for a long time. And then I love these little containers. These are Rubbermaid containers. And let me tell you, they last, they just keep going like the Energizer Bunny. They just last forever and ever and ever. So I'm going to hang on to those. Um, actually, when I 
pack my lunch. I use these little containers all the time. It's they're just the right size for grapes or pineapple or celery or carrots, something like that. And then here are the newest containers that I showed you all. Love those. They are all stacked inside of each other and the lids are all in there. I love it when I can keep my lids with my containers. So that's another reason why I love the Rubbermaid containers because the lids just snap on and they stay right there. And it just takes up a whole lot less space if you can stack your containers inside of each other. Um, so that's why I choose to do it that way. And then back here I have my cake pan and I have all my um, sifters and uh, vegetable drainers. And then in the very back, that's where I have my beverage containers and I do have lids either on the containers or down inside the containers so they stay all together. And I don't know if you can see or not, but I actually still have room in the very back of the cabinet. So keep the items to the front that you're going to use most frequently and then those to the back that you use less frequently. So there you have it. Certainly looks much better than it did than before I started. So leave some comments below. Let me know what some of your organizing tips are, what some of your favorite containers are. If you are new to my channel, welcome. This is a home and lifestyle channel and it's called Designer Savvy. And we do a lot of how-tos, DIYs, and I give you lots of decorating tips and pointers um, to make life easier for you and to help you save money. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Hope you all enjoyed today's video. Please ring that bell and let me know that you liked it. Give it a thumbs up. I'll alert you each week of new videos that are posted. I post every Wednesday. And... Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you got some good tips and I'll see you next time.